I got my camouflage hat on today because we doing some heresy hunting. So load up the rifles with your favorite Bible verses and get ready because it's about to be some shots fired at Dave Ramsey. So what's up guys? All jokes aside, we have the camo Godtrepreneur hats in the shop if you want one. But I wanted to make a quick video because today the internet heresy hunters are going absolutely insane. And the reason being is that Dave Ramsey is going to be speaking at Stephen Furtick's Elevation Church. So I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this situation because if you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know that I am not a fan of Stephen Furtick's teachings, ethics, the whole nine. And if you don't know what a heresy hunter is, it's, it's like a nickname that we give people in the Christian community who are always looking for somebody to be a false preacher, like always looking for it. I know there's some people on here who think like I'm bad because I call out false preachers, but there's people who like that's all that they do. And some people don't like that. I mean, I'm glad that those people are there, heresy hunters, because I learn from their videos. I think that that ministry is needed. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's a little uh, unkind, but I think it's more unkind to be preaching heresy from the pulpit. And uh, man, I'm so sorry. If you don't know what heresy is, it means false preaching. Somebody teaching something that is not the actual gospel and presenting it as if it is the gospel. So Dave Ramsey, if you do not know who he is, you should. He's like one of the most famous Christians in the world. He has a financial literacy program that he promotes. He's written a bunch of books on financial literacy. I've read some of them, got a lot of value out of it. And his main focus is teaching people how to get out of debt and stay out of debt. And he has helped a lot of people do that. So why is everybody going crazy about him speaking at Elevation Church? And the reason is because many of us in the Christian community view Stephen Furtick as a false teacher and going to speak at his church would mean that you are now in alignment with a false teacher. And in any other circumstance, I would agree. The only thing is Dave Ramsey is not a theologian. Dave Ramsey is not a pastor. Dave Ramsey teaches people how to get out of debt and stay out of debt, and that's it. Now, he uses biblical principles to do that, and he is a Christian, but he is by no means a theologian. And this is where Christian cancel culture really bothers me, because I do think that canceling a false preacher is good after they've been given time to repent and change their ways and have been given direct counsel. You know, I'm, I'm always open to somebody repenting, moving forward, and building a solid ministry. But are you guys going to cancel Dave Ramsey because he goes and speaks at Stephen Furtick's thing when Dave Ramsey is not a pastor? Dave Ramsey's not out here doing Bible lessons. He's not teaching about revelation. He's not going through the Bible verse by verse, teaching you how to read the Bible. No, he's teaching you how to stay out of debt and get out of debt. And another thing, Dave Ramsey is a businessman. He's a businessman. I don't agree with everything that Dave Ramsey says or does, but he's in a specific category in my life, which is financial literacy. I don't go to Dave Ramsey for spiritual nourishment. I also don't do the whole, oh, if you friends with that person, I can't be friends with you type thing. That's not how we need to treat people. So the heresy hunting Christian cancel squad, you guys need to just like sit down, just sit down. Okay. Because here's the thing. Dave Ramsey is thinking of two things. He's thinking one, there's a bunch of people at that church who need to know what he is teaching. And two, it's a good business move to get in front of that many people. Now, where I disagree is if that is the motive where you're gonna go speak there so that way you can get a whole bunch of people to sign up to your course, I'm assuming the best and assuming that Dave is not going over there with that at the forefront of his mind. I mean, it's impossible to not have it in your mind, but not at the forefront of his mind. And he's just going there to speak to people and teach them how to get out of debt. I see absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I do not think that he should be canceled for it. And I do not think that you should be looking at people like Dave Ramsey for your spiritual nourishment. Take his course, learn how to get out of debt, listen to his podcast where he calls people stupid. Stupid! I think it's hilarious, but he makes a good point. We do a lot of stupid things with our money. And when I first started listening to and reading Dave Ramsey, I learned about a lot of stupid things I was doing with my money. So I believe that overall, Dave Ramsey is a blessing to not only the church in helping people get their finances right, 
but to the world in general. You don't have to agree with everything that he does. You don't have to agree with him speaking at Stephen Furtick's church. But just please, guys, you got to keep these people where they're supposed to be. It's like when you guys get upset that like Justin Bieber is out here doing Justin Bieber stuff because he's a Christian and he shouldn't be doing that stuff. Like, what are you looking at him to be the perfect Christian for? It's Justin Bieber or like Chris Pratt or something. So just use your discernment. Feel free to agree or disagree with me. If I was Dave, I would not be speaking at Stephen Furtick's church, but I'm not Dave. Let's pray for him instead. Let's pray that during his time there, God uses him for the people in that church because believe me, those people under Stephen Furtick's leadership need it. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Stupid, stupid, stupid.